today I'm gonna share with you what's probably the ultimate way to start tomato seed. So you can get healthy plants like these ones here. But there are also three key things that you need to know that will attribute to the success of your tomato seedlings. But first we must jump back to pass me from the start to get a full view of the entire picture. Right away, the first thing I'm gonna do is going to fill up some seed starting cells with some soil mix. But first, I have to make some. The most basic soil mix and what I'll use most of the time is a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio of one part compost and then there's one part peat moss and there's one part I also like to add about a handful of wood ash to my mix any time that I could because peat moss the way it is is acidic so when I add the wood ash it's going to balance the pH of the mix. Today I don't have any perlite with me so what I'm going to do instead is go in with about 40% of compost and 60% of peat moss. Whenever I'm making my soil mix I like using manure because manure is naturally a rich source of nutrients that plants need in order to grow. I'll also be sifting the peat moss that I have. And to your soil mix, if you want, you can add a handful or two of worm castings into it. Studies have shown that when you added worm casting into your mix, you could speed up the growth of your plants and the germination over. The tomatoes I'm going to sow right here are the sun, the sun gold, the Amy sugar jam. The Kostelutu Ganavi, Mushroom Basket, Chocolate Chestnut, here's the Little Roma from our seed savings, Super Sweet 100 Hybrid, the Berries Crazy, those are the tomatoes. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bottle, I like to unscrew the lid, I'm just gonna wet them down. A little bit so that all the seeds have enough moisture and then once you have all your tomatoes nice and watered down you'll want to place them on the heat mat which I'll have to bring you in to show you my setup and I have this heat mat on the same timer as my grow lights so when my grow lights turn on the heat mat will also turn on and they shut off at the same time Although, I should probably use some sort of like thermostat for this, for a more steady temperature control. This is what I've done already last year and it worked and I have fantastic germination. Just be sure that you don't have any sort of greenhouse lid on top to trap the heat. If you're going to do what I'm doing. This morning is day 5 of planting my tomatoes and they're already germinating. And it started since day four. Which brings me on to my first key, light. You want to give your plants light as soon as they start popping through the surface of the soil. There are numbers of different ways that you can give your plants light, but the best method if you have your plants inside is to use a grow light or a shop light. You can also place them on a sunny windowsill, but you need to make sure that that window will get at least 10 to 12 hours of light each day. Tomato seedlings are very prone to growing leggy if they don't receive enough light. The setup I'm using here is a shop light mounted to the ceiling with some chain. You do not need to invest in an expensive setup. Just because you have a grow light doesn't mean you can't make do. The only thing that matters is to make sure that the distance between the light and your plants is 2 inches if you don't have a grow light and you're using a shop light. And you wanna keep that distance to the plants at all times. These right here are the tomatoes that I started. I have them on the black tray, that way more plants can fit under the light. But what I'm gonna show you next is a tomato that we start that is three weeks ahead of these guys. These tomatoes here that you could see was started on March 1st and now they need to be potted up. Because if you don't pot the plants up, they'll start growing. You could think of the little container that they're in as a bucket. And over time as the plants grow, they're pulling up all the nutrients from the bucket and will empty it. And when that happens, you need to fill it up again to refuel their growth. 
So that's what I'm going to do here today with these tomatoes. I'm going to be potting them up into a four inch pot right here. I'm also going to be using some of this fertilizer that I'm going to put in the cup so that it'll replenish nutrients. Another reason you want to pot them up is because as the roots grow inside the container, you don't want to let them get root bound because then the growth of your plants will stop growing. Mm. And with our containers, we're going to be saving a little room at the top in case later in the future we want to add some manure to boost its growth. The second key to having healthy tomato plants is the way you water them. And in particular, in particular, your watering schedule. Nailing the timing when you should water is pretty simple. So when you see the top of your seedling cups starting to dry out, like this one here, once you see, once you see the tops start to dry out, wait about another 12 hours and then you'll want to water them. So when you give your plants about 12 hours between the time they start to dry out and the time that you water them, it's going to encourage the plant to grow roots deeper into the cup, which will create a healthier root system because your plants aren't just going to grow surface roots. They're going to go deeper looking for the water. So when tomato seeds are very young, what I like to do is to unscrew your water sprayer and then I'll just go about and water them because at that very small stage, they don't need a lot of water. Maybe about a teaspoon or two when you're watering per plant is only what they need. Because they don't evaporate water off as fast as bigger plants. When you water them too much, the roots of the plants will rot as they're sitting in the water. Root rot is a very serious condition because it'll only kill your plants in a matter of two or three days. If you underwater your tomato seedlings, they'll grow very slow. The third key that you need to unlock the growth of your tomato seedlings is hardening them off. Let me explain. So last year was our first year growing our own tomato plants. And when we brought them outdoors to harden them off, we placed them in direct sun. And that is a mistake there. And because they were in the direct sunlight, the leaves of the plants got burned. Because they were being so babied inside that when we brought them outside into the outside, right in the sun, it was too strong for them. We managed to fix our tomatoes plants so that they grow properly again, but it ended up costing us a few weeks because we had to bring them inside and put them back under light and redo the process again. So let me show you the right way to do yours so you don't make the same mistake that we made. So for the first week that you bring them outside, you're going to want to place them in the shade. By shade, you can also place your plants outdoors on cloudy days, just you don't want them in the direct strong sunlight. Uh, so on day 8, you can allow them to have about 2 hours of direct sunlight. On day 9, you, you could give them about 3 hours or 4 hours of sunlight. And keep going up that way until you get to day 14, which they should be able to stay out in the full sunlight all day long. And at that point is when your tomato seedlings are ready to take the next leap outdoors. But wait, pause! Smash that subscribe button please so we can get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So do it now. Okay, thank you very much. But the thing is that you can't plant them right away after hardening them. And that's because you have to wait for your last frost day to pass. If you don't wait, they'll end up dying because the frost will kill off your plants. If you want to figure out when is your last frost day, you can just do a quick Google search and then type in your town and on the Farmer's Almanac website is a great website to search. So that, my plant friends, is how I get my tomatoes from tiny seeds like these to plants like this that you could transplant outdoors. Continue to learn and grow. Goodbye. <laughs>